Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage new National Marketing Director, Brian Marsh. If you had one shot, one opportunity, to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, could you capture? What's up, Anaheim? Woo! Come on! Somebody did choose to give him a microphone. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Brian, and your beautiful wife, Fiona, and your upline, Kira Westwick. So, Brian, um, just a little bit of background there. You've ran your digital marketing company now for 18 years. And at the time that you guys looked at Juice Plus, Fiona was actually looking um, at going back to work after you guys have got four beautiful young children. But you saw what your friends, Adam and Kira, had actually achieved in this business and saw that there was a much bigger picture there. So right out of the gate, you treated this as a business and with a very, very strong vision. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, definitely. So 13 months ago, we reached out to friends of ours, Adam and Kira. Fiona was looking to go back to work. We've got four small children and she'd kind of lost her, I suppose, identity in that role being home for a while. So we reached out to Adam and Kira, there was curiosity, we saw what they were doing on Facebook, we had known them for eight or nine years, and we'd seen some of the small business struggles they had before Juice Plus, but then within 18 months of being on the journey in Juice Plus, we saw that the life that they had created, and I hadn't created that in my other businesses, so we are intrigued, went around to their house, had a bunch of questions and we got those questions answered. You know, we really did buy Adam and Kira in that meeting and we started. A week into the journey, I ran into a neighbor of ours who was a motivational speaker, Keith Abraham, and he said, and he works with other network marketers, and he said to me, people that succeed in this business treat it as a business. And that made a lot of sense to me because three years prior to that, I looked at buying a coffee franchise which was $350,000. And um, one of the things they said, you have to treat this as a business. You have to come to events. You have to come to conferences. You have to work 40 to 50 hours in this business. And you know what? I'm in traditional business, and no one shows you the way in traditional business. You make mistakes. You hopefully fail forward. But this is a franchise. And it made a lot of sense to me. I was looking at buying that franchise because there was a system in place. And I wanted to follow that system. Adam and Kira told us to be successful in this business, be teachable. I was buying a franchise, I needed to be teachable, and I could do that. So, and that's what we've done from day one. We've been teachable, we've plugged into the system, the system that I saw with my own eyes, success that had been created. And they said to us all we needed to do was be teachable. And we've done that and we've had a lot of fun along the way. We sure have. You have, both of you, have a real passion for other families and you're very clear about your vision and how you attract people to your business in that. Do you want to share with us what it is that's on your heart around that? Yeah, sure. We honestly believe that mums should have the choice to do mum care instead of daycare, that mums and dads should have the ability to prioritise their own vision instead of their employer's vision because my wife hasn't had to work for the last seven or eight years but we've got friends and families that have had to put their children into daycare, had to, and we haven't, ha we haven't had to do that. So this journey, very quickly, in the beginning it was about replacing Fiona's wage and giving her a hobby, but very quickly it became about other people. And we brought on our friends and family, and there's two people in this audience, Jody Smith, Alex Matthews, that a year into the business are about to retire their husband. And so when we see that health is being changed, the wealth is being changed, you can't get that in the corporate world. And it, it drives us every day to get up in the morning and inspire more mums that there's a better way and more dads too. So that's definitely... Awesome. Any last words of wisdom? You've got to treat it like a business. You've got to get out and go. If you're dipping your toes in, this thing is real. I've done work for hundreds of corporates out there and they don't have what we've got here. This business is simple. It's not easy. You have to get out and put the work in, but it's simple. Follow the system, follow your upline, be teachable, get out and have fun and you, you'll achieve the success that you want in this. And Brian and Fiona, you must be doing something right. You've created 100 clubs, so the rest is, is just ready to your right. So congratulations and well done.